Hello and welcome you all to another interesting video brought to you by Softlinks. My name is Shwaib and today we will learn how you can compile your Python script to system executable file or standalone software, which means you can run the standalone application on a computer without Python being installed. And we will also learn how we can package our Python executable software for installation. We will create an amazing icon shortcut for our application so we can easily run on our computer. So without any further ado, let's jump in the tutorial and have some fun packaging our Python application. Alright, so let's head over to pypi.org website. The link will be in the video description, so you can go directly to the website. So let's search on Py Installer. Right, so let's click on Py Installer 4.4. Py Installer reads Python script written by you. It analyzes your code to discover every other modus and library your script needs in order to execute. It then collects copies of all those files, including the active Python interpreter, and puts them with your script in a single folder, or optionally, in a single executable file. Copy the installation command and open up the terminal window. So, let's paste the command and hit enter. The installation is going to take some while to finish. Alright, we are done installing Py installer package. So let's dive into the next step where we will compile our Python script to standalone application. Open up your product folder where it includes all the necessary files like icons and images. So, copy the product directory and open up the terminal window once again. Change the directory and hit enter. Now, type these commands exactly alongside with me. If you have some typos in your command, your script won't compile and you will receive an error message. So, make sure you type the same thing exactly as I do. So, type in py installer, then dash dash one there, which is one directory, then dash dash no console, which means our application won't have a terminal console, then dash dash icon dot icon. As you can see, that's my software icon. Then name of our application, which is app.py. Then hit enter. Again, the installation is going to take some while to finish. Alright, we've compiled our Python application successfully. So, let's do the fun part where we will run our application without Python interpreter because it's now standalone application. As you can see in the product folder, Py installer generated these files for us, which are the PyCatch, which is a directory that contains bytecode catch files that are automatically generated by Python. Then the build folder, which contains our app build. Then the disk folder, which is the short form for distributable. The app.spec file, which is the application specification file. The spec file tells Python installer how to process your script. It encodes the script names and most of the options we give the py installer command. So let's check out our build folder. This is our application executable file and let's run and see if it works. Perfect! Our application is running fine. So this is actually the last workflow for our application packaging. Because in this section of the video, 
I'm going to show you how you can create an installer for your Python application software, which you can install on your friend's computer system or someone else's computer. For that, we're going to need a software application called InnoScript Studio. Inno Setup is a free script-driven installation system software for creating Windows App Installer. So, download the software and install on your machine, then come back and follow alongside with me. Alright, open the Inno Script Studio software on your machine. It's probably gonna look like this. Then click on create new script file using script wizard. Then click on OK. Click on next. Then the name of our application, which is Calculator. I'm gonna leave these inputs just the way they are, but you can edit and change them in your future projects. Then click on Next. Application Destination Folder. This is where all your software files are going to be extracted locally in your PC or someone's else's computer when he or she tries to install the software. Application Folder Name, which is Calculator. Then click on OK. The application main executable file. Locate the app.exe file locally on your machine. Click on Add Files. Here I'm going to select all my application files in the calculator folder. And then click Next. Application file type name, which is Calculator. Then application file type extension which is calculator.exe then click on next in this section click on next also well i'm gonna leave this section blank but you can add a license file in your future project information to be shown before installation and also information to be shown after installation then click on the next button to continue next languages you can add multiple languages for your installation. I want to go with German and then Hebrew. Next, custom compiler output folder. This is where InnoScript Studio will save our software after packaging. Compiler output name, which is calculator. The custom setup file icon, which is our software.ico file. You can locate it locally on your machine and then click the next button. Next and hit finish. Would you like to compile the script now? Click yes. Now this code was generated by InnoScript Studio Wizard which includes all the specification for our software application like app name and app version. Now click on the run button here to package the software. Packaging takes a little while to finish because it's going to compress all those files created by PyInstaller and combine them into one executable file software. Alright, we are done creating our exe file for our software calculator and it's saved on our desktop computer. So let's execute and see if it works. This is awesome, right? Well. This wraps up our tutorial for creating executable software with Python and PyInstaller package. So, thanks for watching and take care.